Tommy, I always ask after a draw, two points dropped or one point gained? What are your thoughts after this one? Well, it's, it's one of them things when you go in, in the lead and you give it back, you feel like you've dropped two points. But let's be honest, I don't think the performance over the 90 odd minutes from us was at the level that I expect. And the lads know that. Why? I don't know. The preparation was excellent. You know, we had a really good, good prep into the game. So, yeah, sometimes it's one of them days where it just didn't happen for us. We've had other days where we played really well and not won. Today we've not played really well and we've not won, but we certainly we haven't lost, and that's a good thing. Um, obviously, we're indebted to, to Marcus and Fairness, who's made a couple of really good saves. We haven't worked their goalkeeper enough. It's as simple as that. The front, the lads who played at the front end of the pitch, and there was six all in today. They put their hands up and say they just the ball didn't stick to them. They didn't look like a threat particularly. Um, so delighted we scored early on. Yeah, let's talk about that penalty save from Marcus because not only did he obviously save the penalty, he saved the rebound. It's spectacular to be yeah. fair to him, wasn't it? Yeah, the sec- I mean, the second save is excellent to be- for him to get it. I mean, that's what they do every day, These the goalies. That's why they're crackers. They throw themselves in front of things, you know, 50, 50 times a training session. And they're brave lads, to be fair, both of them are good goalkeepers. Um, and it was, it was his... It was for him, for me, he was the reason we got the point today. And at the other end, Josh Barrett's goal, um, a very cla- typical finish of his, wasn't it? And, and good for him to uh, shut up a bit of the abuse he got, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, listen, in, in no other walk of life do people get abused about how they look just when they turn up to play, do their job. And it's, I, don't, I don't particularly like it. If we said it back to the, the people in the crowd, I'm sure we'd be hauled in front of the, the beaks. But it is what it is. But the best way to answer anybody who's slagging him off mm. is to do what he did. Um, so we all know what ability Josh has got. He had a, he had a t- tight groin, um, and so we took him off as a precaution, really, so, so we didn't want to lose him for a long time. And AJ back into the side, that's got yeah. to be a boost? Yeah, but not when he plays like that. He'll say that yourself. He's, he's, he's going he's gonna to take time for him. Listen, young Ashley's done absolutely nothing wrong, nothing wrong. And uh, he'll be back in the side at some stage, I would imagine. But, you know, AJ's had a long time out. But his character and his personality in and around the, the actual dressing room on a daily basis is a big factor for us. So, uh, yeah, I was pleased he got through almost the 90 minutes. Um, but I wasn't, you know, as you can probably tell by my, my demeanour, it, it, it's one of them times where you, and I keep saying this to you, every point away from home is a precious point. Yeah. And we've taken a point and got more and more than we had before we got here. So, on the, the Isle of Wight now, in Europe, aren't we? Yeah, exactly. Looking ahead to Tuesday. and I mean, what, we, what kind of side can we see? Are we going to see some first team players taken there? Some of them have got some digging out of holes to do, so I would imagine you see an awful lot of the first team players there. Yeah, and it's always a good run out, isn't it? Those opportunities for the, maybe the players on the fringe side of the squad and, and some of the youngsters as well. We have in the B team, for instance, maybe. Yeah, there'll be a mixture of, of both, but I've just said to the lads in there, the vast majority of the first team squad will go, um, but the, sub, the bench will probably be more of the kids.